Don't undercut your hair, kids. Don't undercut it in the missionary position. Don't undercut it standing up. Just don't do it, okay? Okay, no, I'm joking. I'm not telling you not to undercut your hair. Well, I kind of am, but just just hear me out on this, okay? We're back. We're back with another undercut update. This is like the third one I've done out since I shaved my head. And it's um it's been a fun time, to say the least. So, again, I haven't straightened my hair. I thought I'd do that on camera with you guys, because I know how much you love to see this. This is the truth of an undercut. This is what really happens. This is how it grows out. <laughs> it's great. Right, let's just get these straighteners plugged in. There we go. So I was going to do another undercut update because I know you guys like them. I know you like to see what it's really like. This is what it's really like. This. This is the truth of it. My hair is also super curly naturally, so <laughs> it's the fun time. I thought I'd do like a pros and cons of an undercut instead. So uh, if you consider it an undercut, stick around. You're going to hear all the juicy details. Now you might notice at the minute that I've got like undercut at the sides, lovely little mullet, but then in the back, we've got nothing going on except for a pale neck. But this bit here now is long enough to go up into my ponytail. So I have to sort of grab it down. There we are. Oh, it's still there. Don't be fooled. Can you see this? So for those of you that don't know and haven't watched my previous video, I had an undercut, then I decided to give myself a 360 undercut and do the sides, and then I decided to grow the back bit out first and not the sides, and that's why the back bit is really janky and long, and the sides are not. Don't ask me my thought process because I think I didn't really have one and that's why we've ended up where we are today. I'm just going to straighten these bits first because man does it make it hard to straighten when the rest of your hair is down around them. So when I decided to do my undercut I can't even lie I absolutely loved it to the gods like I thought it was the best thing ever and there's pro number one it looks cool as fuck and that's all I have to say on the matter. I think undercuts look really, really good. Pro number two is, if you've got really thick hair like me, it makes your head feel kind of breezy. Like, if you live in a really hot country, it is going to be so much nicer to not have a full head of hair. I do not live in a really hot country. I live in the UK. It rains 99% of the time. So it was very cold when I cut my undercut. And uh, even in the summer, it was still cold. But if you're looking for a bit of free air conditioning, then an undercut is for you. Another pro is, it's also a lot quicker to do your hair. Like, I feel like this is just a personal opinion, so don't come for me at all. But if you just put your hair up in a ponytail, like a standard haircut, you just put it up in a ponytail, it looks all right. It's just a standard ponytail. But if you've got an undercut... You just put your hair up in a standard ponytail. It is instantly boosted to like a sick looking haircut. Maybe that's just me. Probably not explained it very well. But do you know what I mean? Like it gives it an extra bit of jazz. So I feel like you don't have to do as much with your hair as you would if you didn't have an undercut. Because even a standard ponytail looks cool. I know I'm supposed to be selling like reasons not to shave your head. And so far I've just listed reasons to do it. But if you need any more reason look at this so mine has been growing out now i think the underneath's been growing out for about a year and a half which it is a long time it's a long time to not be able to put your hair up it's a long time to have to deal with these like janky little side bits now if it was just the back of my hair that i've done just break the straighteners there then it would be a lot easier because i could hide it but i chose to do the sides didn't i so i couldn't even like pull my hair up and still can't into a standard top knot without this happening i feel like baby yoda with my hair like this don't really know why probably the ears my hair i think has grown pretty fast in the last year because we've been in lockdown i haven't been straightening it i haven't been bleaching it it still doesn't grow as fast as you need it to like it never grows fast enough. It really is like ag to have to go through the planning every single day of what the hell you're going to do with your hair because you can't just put it up into a top knot. You can't just shove it into a ponytail because you've got all these crazy bits that stick out, which my other half likes to call my whisperies because they're like whispery. I don't, I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the nickname. He still calls them it. I don't know why. To wind me up, I'm guessing. But what I'm saying is, there's no easy way to cover it. In the beginning, it's fine. You can wear your hair down and it doesn't really matter. 
but then as it starts to grow you'll notice if you watch any of my other videos i've got these like bits that are here and then the rest of my hair and it almost looks like i've got a bad extension job you know if your hair was really short and then your hair extensions were like long out here this is how my hair used to look when i was 17. i don't want it to look like that again i'm not interested no 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 another con is you can't do like cute hairstyles really i'm sure there are some out there i haven't found them i was someone that would always wear my hair in braids like just two french plaits and i loved it can i do that now no i can't because i've got all this this here and whenever i try and pull it up into a french braid it pings out again it doesn't work i'm probably not helping with your decision at all as to whether you should undercut your hair here because i'm kind of chaotic backwards and forwards but that's because at the time that i had it i absolutely loved it it is just now the growing it out part that i don't love so if you're gonna spend like i did a couple of years with an undercut and then maybe six months with like a 360 undercut but then it's going to take you like five years to grow it out you just have to ask yourself is it worth it if you're happy with sacrificing most of your usual hairdos whilst growing out your undercut then do it get them scissors get them clippers shave your head but if like me you change your mind that often and you're just going to keep it for six months and then decide that you want to grow it out again because now you want all long hair it's not for you also another thing that i found was i would let it grow to about that long and it would literally stick out from the sides of my head there was no laying it down no amount of straightening no amount of blow drying no amount of anything would keep that hair down it would just stick out like this from the side of my head and that just made me want to shave it again because i used to think is this worth it wasn't it just easier when i had a nice shaved head and i didn't have to deal with these bits it's a vicious circle there's no getting out of it so i don't actually know how long the undercut is going to take what worries me is for the first time ever my hair is growing and i'm not actually having it cut as often so to me the undercut is never going to catch up with the rest of my hair until the rest of my hair stops growing and the undercut carries on growing does that make sense probably not do i regret shaving my undercut yes on a daily basis would i do it again tomorrow probably yes so i'm probably not the best person to get advice from to be honest because my life is very chaotic and because i'm so spontaneous i do just do things like this and deal with the consequences afterwards and uh, basically what i'm saying is think about what you're doing before you do it like it isn't just thinking about oh i'm gonna have a nice undercut you have to deal with all this shit that comes after it so another con i think of having an undercut is it seems to grow so quickly when it's short like i literally found that i was having to shave it every single week and it doesn't seem like it grows that quick when you're trying to grow it out trust me but at the time to keep it under control especially if you want like a little pattern in it i used to have tram lines like shaved in the side of mine you have to shave it quite often now i'm a qualified hairdresser i know what i'm doing with a pair of clippers so i used to do mine myself with like two mirrors it wasn't easy but it worked but if you're somebody that doesn't know what you're doing and doesn't have somebody to help you a it's gonna cost a lot to keep going to the barbers like blokes i don't know how you do it with these skin fades it costs a fortune and b like me when i started growing mine out in a global pandemic <laughs> good idea there were no hairdressers open i had no choice there was nowhere i could go this looks awful yes it does let me try and stand and show you this is the length of my hair right now okay here it is this is the length of my undercut for some reason this side seems longer it's a lot we've got a lot of growth that needs to go on so basically all i'm saying is just think about it before you do it i personally think it looks awesome i think there is so many different styles out there i just think it looks cool as fuck okay don't come at me for it but this is just really not a fun time and i'm lucky now that i can finally tuck it behind my ears but when i do that it just sticks out here instead so there's not really like a win in the situation you just have to deal with it so if you're happy to take that or if you have short hair or if you're thinking about shaving your head 100 percent do it shave your head but if like me <laughs> you just want normal long hair probably shouldn't shave an undercut in and then have to deal with five years of growing it out so let me know what you think in the comments down below have you already got an undercut are you growing yours out how are you finding it is it as chaotic as mine so make sure you stay safe and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys